this 8200 i don't like to talk money but still this 8200 crore is only for the rocket or like the infra plus engine plus rocket no this is a development cost that means to make the rocket huh. test it fly and prove okay so uh, uh, if you have to produce suppose i have to produce 10 rockets per year this money is not enough so i have to create infrastructure for production in terms of numbers i can produce three or four of them mm -hmm. with this money using our current industries and infrastructure but if you have to put a serial production facility mm -hmm. we'll have to have invest more so what we are going to do is we are going to discuss with industries right away and ask them to invest and create a some sort of a private public partnership to produce production facility also will come up while we do the development and that will be funded by industries not by industry means nsil This sponsored oh, oh. Uh, industry consortia will fund it to oh. create it so that is not funded from government so the third launch pad is uh, included in this third launch pad is not for this alone third launch pad is cannot be included along with this because it's not part of a rocket development oh. what we need is the third launch pad as a standby for human space flight see currently we are using the second launch pad for human space flight oh. it is a reengineering of a current launch the second launch pad was created you know was for gslv mark 2 oh. 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 and we remodified it to mark 3 oh. oh. then we are again modifying it for human space flight so it's a third oh. version of second launch pad which is now getting ready yes, yes. but anything happens to the pad like a, a launch pad explosion we will have no standby pad so the first requirement is to create a standby pad for human space flight so third launch pad's purpose is standby pad for human space flight so this is not ngl we specific pad as such it see the, no pads are any vehicle specific ah. okay we want lvm3 also to launch in third launch third pad launch pad, okay. so unless you create that way mm. See, otherwise, for every vehicle, you cannot create launch pad. Okay. SSL we made. We never had a new launch pad. Test vehicle we made. Ah, but the height here. It's not just height. There uh -huh. are so many interfaces: launch pad assembly interface, electrical uh -huh. interface, pneumatic interface, uh -huh. cooling air interface, no assembly access. Uh -huh. So all those features has to come in. It's just not the height. So when you build the third launch pad, it uh -huh. will be built for LVM3. It will be built for NGLV. It will be built for human space flight mission for future. the okay. moon moon craft mm. which mm. will build mm. all that thought process will go in mm. but whatever investment that you will be made for the current one mm. like uh, you will when you put foundations you mm. will plan it for future mm. when you put a jet deflector it will be meant for future much mm. heavier that uh -huh. 70 ton class of vehicle uh -huh. so all those things will go into it so it's not just nglb specific okay uh looking at slp it looks modular as such it can was it made such that it's uh, it can be like upgraded further that blocks that modular see, blocks we in the same always way. upgraded to a level we can think about hmm. see when hmm. second launch pad was built nobody had an idea of nglv hmm. so you cannot say you didn't plan for nglv in second launch hmm. pad so the visibility of what you are going to have in future will be thought about at this moment that hmm. much only we can plan okay so would it look like the like many it's i think almost since 10 years we are looking at that design uh, like it looks like a silpin between there are some something on the side of it you know that uh, that drawings and all that will soon come out so we'll see but the it will mm. be sub the substantial different from the current launch pad uh, one of the feature I, i can tell you is that it will not see the umbilical tower that you used to see that mm. will not be mm. there oh. the arms will not be there that uh, whatever arms you see will not be there oh. okay Uh, so all those things will not be seen now it will be more because vehicle is going to be integrated horizontally hmm. not vertically like what you used to do in the hmm. current vehicle so it doesn't require all of that so it will come horizontally get tilted and so the transport director only can be the transport director type of concept only will be there uh before we go back to this i i remember uh, uh, rohan and naran uh, from new space india podcast mm -hmm. Uh, they were telling me story how FLP was built based on a competition among his row uh, people. Is that culture still there? Like even the third launch, third launch panel when you were competition. Designed? I am not aware of any competition because it is not a subject of competition. No, no, it's like design competition. Like who will come up with the best design for? No, that is always there in the system. It oh. is within the people who knows the system. Only ah. you can compete. I cannot people. I cannot put people who is working on uh, something else to make a launch ah, pad. Ah, ah. So then, in any design, there are multiple options we discuss. 
it's not called competition. It is a, uh, multiple ideas will be put forth. Okay. So in, in, even in engine design or rocket mm. design, you talked about NGLV. Mm. It started when I when I was in LPSC as director. The whole idea of mm. NGLV mm. is for making a locksmith in engine mm -hmm. engineering about. Mm -hmm. So s slowly takes shape with mm. from multiple ideas. Mm. Then we conduct brainstorming sessions mm -hmm. and different levels. Then choosing it and finally coming to chairman. Our chairman will also work along with them mm -hmm. in the background. Mm -hmm. So th it's a not just one choice, the route, mm. there are multiple choices. In second launch, but also similar exercises is done. Okay. But I don't call it competition, it's not a competition. Okay, so it's variants, everyone comes. Yeah, always variants. Mm. Like uh, uh, you talked about HLV, I don't know, I myself would have drawn, I think, how many configurations mm. of rockets. Okay, everybody want to drive this idea. Yeah. So it will happen in the system, finally one will be chosen. Okay. Uh, this, okay, so horizon, so, Horizontal integration feels like uh, the go-to because it's uh, cheaper to build the infrastructure, relatively cheaper to build, uh, relatively faster. No, that's but all uh, notional. I think uh, let us understand horizontal integration is also very difficult. Okay. Because don't think that vertical integration is the because you need a tall tower. No, huh. horizontal integration is very difficult because hmm. you are dealing with five meter hardware. Hmm. Just imagine two cylinders of five meter to be joined. How will you access even? If it is vertical, you mm. can just stand around and then assemble mm -hmm. the interface. Mm -hmm. When it is horizon horizontal and, and it, mm -hmm. you cannot even go around it. Okay. Putting a bolt is very difficult. I have done horizontal yeah. assembly for L110 uh, stage yeah, of LDM3. Yeah, yeah. It's extremely difficult to assemble horizontally. Two cylinders will not enter each other. They will become yeah. elliptical and they will uh -huh. not enter. The bolts will not match. It's a very complex to assemble horizontally. Horizontal assembly is because of various reasons. Though it's not because it is simple that mm. we go. It is because it is natural to assemble horizontally and mm. the, you can do parallel assembly. Uh -huh. Say if you are to assemble five rockets, mm. then horizontal assembly means makes sense, though it is difficult. Assembling mm. a rocket horizontally is more difficult than vertical. Mm -hmm. I think let us understand that. Yeah. But only thing is we need a lot of tooling and fixtures to access it. Mm -hmm. Because many a times we need to rotate it, so rotating drives are needed. Mm -hmm. Then uh, ovality corrections are needed. Then you need access all around is needed. And even if you stand here, I can't reach the other other end. Mm -hmm. Even inside, if I go, mm. I can't go to the top because five meter is a huge. It is much bigger than this room. Right. So accessing, you cannot put any tool inside. But if it is vertical, it is very easy. Mm. You can go around and see. So it has pluses and minuses. Okay. So if just one rocket is assembled, vertical is good. Mm. But if then uh, ten rockets are to be assembled, horizontal is good. Okay. So, but then still you have to uh, handle the complexities or something. So, like you have one issue with, I don't know if this is a SLP specific issue or LVM3 because it's solid mostly, there is a refurbishing the pad. So when you are designing TLP refurbishing and for a high cadence with NGLV that you are designing for, refurbishing becomes a important aspect of design in that case? No, no. You are talking about third launch pad? Oh, no. It's like... Once yes. uh, Mark three launches, huh. then there is almost like one or what, two months of refurbishing time that goes to SLP. No, 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 there is no refurbishment time nowadays. Not it's all old, ti old time story you are talking about. Oh, Today oh. one launch to another, it's now more than 10 days. Oh. If Mark three to Mark three can be done in 10 yes, days. 10 days. We are go you will see, we are going to do now. For Chandrayaan 4? Some of the launches we will have to do within 15 days. For Chandrayaan 4 launch, hmm. two launches are to be done in just 15 days intervals. So you have uh, fixed the, as in you have sorted the yeah. refurbishment. Because I remember there is no year. There is no refurbishment really. There are mm. some, what happens is some of the jet deflectors, some cement yeah. will peel off and things mm -hmm. like that. Some putting some ceramics on top of it will be called for. Some black color will come, so painting will be done. Mm -hmm. Other, and many a times what happens is between one launch to another, we do something called the test and evaluation. Mm. All the fluid lines will be rechecked for leak. They, again, they will be repurged for all the, remove the, uh, poisonous gas mm -hmm. which are come mm -hmm. so that human beings have in before access it all are safe mm -hmm. those type of things we'll have to do mm -hmm. it's not called refurbishment it is simply preparing for that it is now we worked out in 10 days we can do that okay but is it is it a result of we use using solid like the amount of thrust from the solid because liquid will you have the same like if NGLV had to fly from SLP would you uh, NGLV is going to be much more safer primarily because there are no hypergolic propellants mm -hmm and uh, leaks are not dangerous. For mm -hmm. example, you are dealing with oxygen and methane and uh, there is no cleaning required. Mm -hmm. Once launch is over, you just close it and you, next launch you can bring it back. But not the case when UDMH and NDOF are used. Right, right. UDMH and NDOF wets the entire lines in the UT and all the areas and uh, 
parts per billion leak is good enough to have a oh. very yeah. dangerous situation so everything has to be purged cleaned and you know, dried to make sure the particular contamination is very less around the vicinity of the launch pad before human being go so it is much more difficult with that right so by nature would you like to shift human space flight to nglv as soon as possible yeah naturally okay because solid solid is difficult mm-hmm. because you cannot stop it yeah Uh, hypergolic is dangerous because leak is very dangerous you cannot but uh, hmm. in the other case it is both are very safe okay of course safety is a relative term ah, because there is a pressure course. everything has pressure pressure has no is whether it is whichever gas hmm. it is same same uh, safety issues are there yeah uh, this uh, tlp will be at the same spot like we have seen like uh, right of svab uh, very near to it something like 1 km away it will be okay. and uh, we will have connection to the current launch pads hmm. rail everything so vehicle from second launch pad can go to third launch pad hmm. building and you know, we can swap the rocket ex- across all that will be there 